Hello YouTube, this is Chuck. Today, as you probably figured out, I'm coming to you from my van. And the other day I made a van video that's actually done pretty well, so thank you to everybody who's watched that. And uh, But there was a few things I couldn't talk about due to lack of time, so I thought I would come back and talk a little bit more about a couple of the systems in here, or more appropriately, lack of systems. And tell you a little bit about cooking and uh, and basically how I can live in how I live in here. Now, if, when you saw the last video, you realize that I don't have a shower of any kind, and I'm normally only out about a week at a time. Uh, so I can get by without a shower. I can just use baby wipes to keep clean. Uh, I've been known to dirt bag it for two three days. I also I do have a sun sh a solar shower, which is basically a black bag that you put in the sun and it warms it up over a few hours, and so that you can hang it in a tree and take a shower. Uh, I bought one and I fiddled with it a little bit, but I've actually never used it. So I but I did want to to talk a little bit about hygiene, keeping clean in the van, and show you a little bit through my kitchen. So with that, I'm going to turn it around so I can see what I'm filming. Because I'm on the wide screen here and I can't tell what I'm doing. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how my kitchen is set up. So I'll pan slowly. It's a little bit difficult to do this inside the van because it's pretty close quarters. Now I don't normally travel with any kind of a refrigerator or an ice chest. If I do, then I take that chair out and I put the ice chest underneath the desk. And I can use, actually, I can sit on that and, or use it as a footstool for this chair that I'm sitting in now. Uh, the chair I'm sitting in now, I'll show you here in a minute, but it's actually the uh, passenger seat and I've got it swiveled around. But to give you a quick tour of, the, of my kitchen, uh, an old desk like that actually does make a pretty good kitchen. You don't really think much about it, but let me move this chair back over here out of the way. Your pencil drawer ends up being a pretty good drawer for your silverware and your other flatware that uh, it needs, you know, a shout that'll work in a shallow drawer. So that's what I've got in here. The next drawer over here is actually my cooking utensils, cups and plates, and that sort of thing. Uh, my Route 66 coffee mug. Uh, I've been using that thing for about 10 years now, and uh, it's kind of my old faithful. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me because normally when I travel, I'm by myself, so I don't need a, a whole bunch of stuff for a lot of different people. As you can see, I've got a little saucepan there, and I also have a little cast iron frying pan, which if I'm going to cook something, that's normally what I end up using. Next is my stove, and my little stove there... Uh, it works out really well. It's just a single burner butane stove uses the little butane cartridges and I just either pick it up and set it here to cook inside or I can take and set it outside. I have a folding table or I have the little table mounted on the door so I can cook either inside or outside. These things are extremely handy. There's really not much to them and uh, they, they'll heat up water pretty darn quick. bottom drawer I have two I have two sal uh, stainless steel salad bowls in there that I use for a sink when I need one I don't know why I carry two I really only need one and then down here in the bottom of course is, is also my uh, this is my teapot for or my for heating hot water for coffee and then that's just a little camper type cup and then this blue thing blue and gray thing here is actually a bucket it's a collapsible bucket, so if I need to use more water than that, then uh, I've got a bucket I can carry it around in. And that, that's handy for when you, if you do have to put out a campfire or something like that. One of the handiest things, one of the handiest things when you're living in a vehicle or camping or whatever to, to minimize your water use is just a good quality spray bottle. Uh, the little cheap dollar fifty nine ones from Walmart or something they they don't last very long. I've been, went through several of those. I finally bought a professional grade one, 
and you'll be amazed at how little water you use to clean yourself and clean dishes and wash your hands and uh, with all, and all the things that you need just a little bit of water to do and there's virtually no waste. And this is probably one of the handiest things, one of the, the a pro tip, if you will, for anybody that's doing any kind of camping or van travel or something. In my drawer, in my shelves there, the bottom one, as you can see, the, the little propane cylinders, those are for my heater. And the yellow one over here, that's the spare one for the stove. Then back behind there, I've got a couple rolls of paper towels. Second shelf up is a, basically a goodie shelf right now. I've got some snacks in there. Then the upper shelf. The upper shelf is my drink station. That's where my coffee stuff and my lemonade and creamer and, and so forth. And some other snacks up there as well. The little wooden thing you see there, I should have hung that up. That's actually that's actually a little plaque. Uh, I leave it there when I tra I leave it down here when I travel because it has a tendency to fall off the wall. My wife made that for me. Moving on back, the bottom drawer here is actually my my food drawer. I do I put some in some food in there with the. Uh, in the bottom drawer in the, the kitchen desk as well. But this here is my primary one. I normally have about a week's worth of food in here and mostly canned goods. Uh, I've got some Mountain House uh, stuff there. Uh, mostly uh, canned, uh, like corned beef hash, uh, some canned meat uh, and stuff like that. That, uh, that ends up uh, holding up well. It has virtually no expiration date. Here again, one of the Hot setups are these little spam singles. A can of spam is too much for me. I don't want that much at a time. But you can you can throw that on a slice on a couple slices of bread and make a sandwich in about 15 seconds, and it works perfectly well. I'm not a big fan of taking a lot of time to cook meals. Uh, I tell people that I eat to live. I don't live to eat, and therefore I just have to refuel myself. I'm on a diet. I only eat two meals a day anyway. And I eat a lot of protein. And when you eat a lot of protein, you don't get hungry. This upper shelf here just has some some uh, plastic bags and some other miscellaneous stuff in there. And then that's actually a, uh, this is actually a cast of a Sasquatch footprint that I carry around for demonstrations to show people. This, this is actually a copy of one that came out of California. I won't claim that I made this one. I didn't. But it's uh, made out of some really hard material, so it can be handled without uh, without without worrying about it breaking. The next drawer back there, which would be the pencil drawer in that desk, uh, that's kind of a junk drawer, batteries and CDs and stuff like that. And then on the back there, I mentioned in the other video, uh, the top two drawers are clothing, uh, and then the bottom one is uh, clean up stuff. Underneath here, I didn't talk at all in the other video, I didn't talk at all about water. But there, the, you see the big blue jug there? I've got two of those. Those are seven gallon water jugs. And then that little red thing down in the bottom, that's actually a battery operated pump. So if I need to, to uh, uh, fill a pail for water or whatever I happen to need water for, uh, I can just uh, pump it out of one of, those, one of those jugs. And then of course, there's a case of drinking water there and I can actually put another one on top of that if I need two of them. But I normally leave those set up with the a, case, a fresh case of water and both of those full all the time. So that's 14 gallon of fresh water, a case of drinking water. And uh, and that pretty well covers uh, my cooking arrangement in the van. I realize I'm coming up on 10 minutes already. So I'm trying to keep these videos shorter than 10 minutes. So let me spin back around here. And tell y'all thanks for watching. I've got some new subscribers. I want to thank them as well. Uh, check out my community page if you get a chance. I try to post something there every day. And uh, with all that being said, uh, uh, take good care of yourself. Love your neighbor. Love your family. It's a wonderful life. And I'll turn this around so I can find the shutoff button. And we'll see you on the next one.